Hi. So before we, before I start talking about what I want to talk about, just quickly for those of you who don't know, I'm uploading daily for the month of December, these raw, almost unedited type videos to kind of be a last push for the end of the year to get more content out, but also to just document where I'm at, what I'm going through, what I'm thinking about. Today, I want to talk about something that I learned about more in Mental Master. I bought Kenny Bender. He's a self-improvement YouTuber. I bought his Mental Mastery class. And there's a section in that class about Stoicism. And I've already read a couple books on Stoicism. I have this book that I want to read that was recommended to me. And... Nice. Freaking stupid. Oh, that's so annoying. Yes, this is a good time to practice it. Yeah, and the reason I want to talk about it is because of this. I am I was driving home from school, and I was just feeling sort of angry, sort of mad. And I he Kenny actually asked me this on a live call, and I couldn't articulate my thoughts super well. But after thinking about it, the thing that I got out of Mental Mastery the thing that I've seen the most improvement in, the most tangible piece of progress is my self-awareness has raised pretty significantly, I would say. I'm now catching thoughts that I'm thinking quicker, and I'm also questioning thoughts that I'm thinking quicker. And it's, I'm not like the ideal version of myself yet. But that's definitely progress. And so I was driving and I was just feeling like angsty, just like angry, like off. And I didn't know why. And I didn't, I didn't want to feel like that. And thankfully, after some practice, I kind of sat back and was like, why? Like genuinely why? And then it kind of like that thought drifted. I started listening to my podcast and then I got home. I'm like, hey, caught up with my parents, asked what's for dinner. We're having orange chicken tonight. I love orange chicken. I was really excited. And then my excitement got like halted by this discomfort, by this angst, by this anger, by whatever this negative stress, emotion, whatever it was. And I noticed like almost immediately, I'm like, I wanted to feel excited and then it just stopped it. Like I, I wanted to feel that excitement for dinner. I was hungry, I was excited. And then it just got halted. And I'm like, why is that happening? And I was thinking about it and there was something that happened at school and it really didn't matter. And now I might've been justified with a reaction that I, with the reaction that I had, the, the angst, the, the not positive feeling, I might've been justified in feeling that, but it wasn't adding anything to me to be thinking about it past the point of when it happened. I guess this was kind of a toss up in my head because for a while, I, I learned about stoicism in my humanities class and I was like, does really saying to yourself in the midst of suffering, like, oh, I can't control this and it's going to end, does that really help? Like, you're still in pain. And maybe that was cope. But up in, like, I don't know, I guess recently I've kind of more solidified the reasoning and like, yeah, it does help. I am prolonging the suffering by thinking about that. And I don't know if this is actually how it works, but I was, it feels like I was subconsciously like latching myself onto this feeling of angst and negative emotion. And it was halting all of my good feelings. And I kind of felt like, I don't know if you'll relate to this, but I kind of felt like from a, from a observatory perspective, it felt like my brain because of this negative emotion started to justify falling back into bad habits tonight, wasting tonight. And I hate that. I hate that. It, make, it makes me mad. 
I want to feel the good emotions and I can, I can see, and I've had this happen to me a few times. My self-awareness has been improving a lot over the past year. And there have been a few times where it's been crispy, but now lately it's been more of a steadily progress. But like, I can, I, I've seen, it's not even me, but I've seen this like goblin in my mind that starts to justify things. And it makes me angry because it halts me from feeling good and then it uses these negative emotions that I didn't even know where they came from at the time to justify not having a good night, to justify not having a good day, to justify whatever the heck, whatever the heck I wanted to justify the bad habits. It makes me angry. And I don't, I guess I'm not like a stoic master yet, but it sure does seem like I've been prolonging that suffering, like something bad happened at school. And it's like, yeah, okay, I was justified in feeling the way I was feeling. I didn't like what happened, but I want to have a good night. And although it's fair to be feeling what I'm feeling, is it optimal? Is it worth me ruining the rest of my day, the rest of my night? Is it worth me dwelling on it? Like I can literally choose to be excited. And I was thinking about it, and this will be quick, I guess. I, I was trying to keep this one quick. I was thinking about it and I'm like, I, I don't know if you do this. I kind of sometimes visualize myself because I know I'm going to be successful. I visualize myself like on a podcast or visualize myself in a debate. I debate a lot with my teachers. I visualize, visualize myself in these situations where I have to try to justify my beliefs. I have to try to articulate them. It's been something that's really helped me. And I was picturing that and I was picturing myself trying to explain what was happening to me. And I was saying, okay, if I were to like teach someone, what I would be saying would be something along the lines of, when you feel this, you can consciously direct your attention to other things, to other actions. But then this like back and forth happened in my brain. And the other part of my brain was like, well, Noah, you were already distracted and you were still feeling these negative emotions. So evidently, it's not the case that if your attention is elsewhere, that you'll magically start feeling better. Like just directing your mind away from something doesn't magically make you feel better because when you were feeling bad, you weren't thinking on the reason that you were feeling bad you were just feeling bad. I guess now that I'm saying it, a counterpoint, I, I was kind of thinking this before, but now that I said it, it kind of articulated in my mind a little bit better. A counterpoint would be like, fair, just changing focus doesn't take away the negative emotion unless you realize this is why I was feeling this way. I, I can see the root of it. And now I'm going to consciously choose to focus on something else. It's, I don't know if it's fair to say that you need to understand the root before you can change focus. I don't know if that's fair to say. <coughs> but it, but all I can say, I'm cracking my knuckles, that's, is that it sure seems like I was in a position, like I'm in a position right now where it's like, okay, this thing happened, I'm justified and feeling not good. And although before changing my focus didn't lead to better emotions, now that I understand the root of my angst and my anger, you could say, anger is a little bit of a harsher word for what I was feeling, but for the sake of the argument, anger and angst, now, I have a choice, justify the bad habits for the rest of the night, feel crappy the rest of the night, 
or I guess be purposeful, focus on things, focus on the good, focus on what I can control, focus on, I guess, I don't know, focus on the things that make me happy is right. That might be a little repetitive. But focus on the things I can control. Focus on the things that bring me energy. Focus on being purposeful. I have a choice and I can choose to allow this negative thing to justify and overcome and swallow me up for the rest of the night. Or I can choose to be like, okay, it happened. I'm justified for feeling that way. But the situation was resolved, pretty much. And now there's some other things that are, might happen that some other parts of the process for this to be fully resolved that I'm still not excited for, but they don't affect me tonight. They don't affect me right now. It would be unproductive to dwell. I don't know at all if any of that made sense. That was one quite long ramble, but I hope it brought you value. I hope you enjoyed. If you did find value and you like the content that you see from me, or if this is your first time and you just kind of like what you've seen and you want to support me on my goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, we're cutting it close down to the wire. If you want to support me on that, it would really support the channel and make my night. If you subscribed, I hope you have the bestest of days and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.